sharing their experiences of their journey, the triumphs, the hurdles they had to overcome to get to this point. Um, it's women or women power all over. And uh, it's truly inspiring. So in the spirit of storytelling, and I'll be quick, I have one at least. And it's about women power. Um, in the early 90s, uh, when I was relocating from the U.S. back to India, my then girlfriend and now my wife, she was working in a very promising career with the international credit rating agency called Moody's. And she decided to come back and start afresh as woman power. Then, in the early stage of my professional journey again here in India, when I was struggling to find my feet, and my wife again had a really promising career with as a head of research with an equity broking platform that kept us going. So that's Women Power again. And then we had two lovely daughters. Yeah, we were talking about daughters. Someone says just sons and I've got daughters. And that's again when my wife decided to transition into a different pace of career just to make sure as my daughters went through school and colleges and now onto their professional journey. And that's again uh, woman power for me. So for me, my rock of Gibraltar are the women that I'm surrounded with at home. And that's why the subject of diversity and inclusion is very close to my heart. And it starts from gender diversity, but it goes way beyond. There's another story about my grandmother, my nani, but I will not go in right now because it will take time. I think more so from a point of view of not just an individual story, but a collective point of view, even at HSBC, we champion this women power cause, which is fairly essential and core to our strategy for diversity and inclusion and how we set up our policies, how do we put our benefits program together. So how do we do it? Well, one of the initiatives that I'm really proud of that to share is called Power to Her program. Now, in Power to Her program, it has been specially curated as women internship for a period of six months, and this attracts the promising women talent who have taken career breaks. And we discussed earlier about how you lose women talent, but how to bring them back, and then to integrate them in the workspace. Uh, this allows as a firm for us to tap into alternate source of talent and also develop future leadership pipeline. In fact, 60% of returnees who joined our Power to Her program got conversation to a full-time role with us since the inception of the program. So this is really working for us and proving that this is an appropriate program to look at. Um, it, earlier we were talking about how to harness the power of diversity. And then there was a talk about how to make sure that each individual had the same set of opportunities for success and path to upward mobility. Now, we have one such development and initiative which we call Ascent. This is our flagship program, and this caters to our mid to senior women leaders. It is designed to create self-awareness and equip them with skills and tools uh, which enables them to lead in a complex environment and also build visibility across the network. ASAN has given us really positive outcomes and resulted into new roles progression for more than 50% of the participants in this program. We talked about earlier about retaining talent, retaining talented women in the workforce. The question is, how do we do it? And we at HSBC, how do we do it? Well, I'll give you a look in terms of some of the things we have. We have a mother on board program, which is curated to help expectant and new mothers during their transition phase. An idea is to help them find good balance with a successful career. To do this, we have themed webinars, we have counseling, and we have knowledge, knowledge resources that we share. There are child care benefits that are offered. This offers best-in-class benefits to uh, young mothers with reimbursement for creche, uh, for child care allowances, and even nanny support. Uh, 
parent coaching, there's no handbook for it. So for parents, for caregivers, to connect with coach and counselors and to seek guidance on parenting for the first time parents. At HSBC, we offer comprehensive packages with policies and benefits to support the multifaceted role that women play. To name a few, leave allowances. For example, we have 26 weeks of leaves available for maternity and also for adoption and surrogacy, same, same tenor. Medicaid cover. It covers maternity-related expenses, pre- and postnatal uh, uh, expenses, infertility treatment for employees and even their uh, spouses and partners, surrogacy expenses, adoption charges, menopausal-related disorder, everything. So it's fairly extensive in approach. There are wellness sessions organized to address issues like anxiety, and we talked about mental illness earlier out there, emotional resilience, parenting, all of that is part of that, and the flexible working hours, as we discussed earlier, to make sure which includes location to be flexible, timing to be flexible, and part-time approach as well. Last bit is on gender pay gap. And I know it's a pretty important issue across countries, not just ours. So World Economic Forum report on gender pay gap suggests it will take another 132 years to close this gap. At HSBC, we voluntarily publish gender representation and pay gap data. Our regional diversity data disclosure now extends across eight markets and covers more than 72% of our workforce. Our pay strategy is designed to attract and to motivate the very best of the people regardless of gender. So right in the end, and this is where I conclude, if you were to agree that diversity is an actual part of our lives, Inclusion on the other side of diversity, it is the other side of diversity, but they are two sides of the same coin, not just the opposite side. It's important not to look at diversity on a standalone basis as naming only our differences and can feel exclusion rather than inclusion. Diversity without inclusion does not work. Real diversity and inclusion does not mean we will always agree. In fact, our strength is also in our differences, not just in our similarities. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Malhotra, for sharing these defining moments from HSBC and your journey with us. HSBC's steadfast partnership for the second consecutive season of Future Female Forward, the Women's Collective, has been invaluable, anchoring our collective efforts with profound support. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a huge round of applause once again for Mr. Amitabh Malhotra. Now, as we draw curtains on this remarkable future female forward, the Women's Mumbai Leadership Collective, we reflect on an evening filled with incredible power, potential, and collective spirit of the women from diverse fields. We've shared stories, ignited ideas, and sparked connections, illuminating the incredible power and potential of women and showcasing their resoluteness and unwavering determination to shatter barriers and redefine norms. Remember, the conversations we started here don't have to end tonight. Let's carry this forward, champion each other's dreams, and become the architects of a future that is bold, bright, and filled with boundless opportunities for all. Together, we are unstoppable. I would like to extend our gratitude to each one of our partners, presenting partner HSBC India, co-presenting partner HCL Tech, associate partners ITC and FedEx, FICI, and Alliance Industries Limited. Enjoy your dinner. Have a wonderful night. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.